Hey everybody, I'm going to step through building an alternate version of the garbage patch assembly rings. This is the assembly that was specified in the 2020 Sea Perch Challenge build guide. This will work fine if you've already built these. They'll work just fine if you've already competed in a regional or used them in a regional. They've worked. I just wanted a little simpler design that I would be able to control the buoyancy a little bit easier on it, be able to adjust the buoyancy. And I really wanted to seal the rings. And I knew if I sealed the rings, I'd have to get some PEX couplers to do that. So I did that. This is this this one had the PVC T's, crosses to hold everything together, cable ties, and then pull noodles. Works great though, but if you have not built one yet, then I would suggest building this alternate version. So this is, this is the final product, and you see that the rings are actually cable tied together, so they fit tight together as opposed to the gap that's in between them. I, instead of using pipe fittings, I just cable tied the support pipes onto the hoops. Now on this version, I crimped the PEX pipe or a coupler, a, PVC, a PEX coupling into the PEX pipe with these little crimp rings, but that requires a tool that costs about fifty or sixty dollars. If you have one of these, you have a plumbing a friend that's a plumber or someone that can lend you a tool. You know, this is probably the best solution. But it will also show you that it works just fine if you just simply use the coupler, which I will do in this build and just electrical tape them together. So I'll show you what we have here. So we'll, we'll have our PEX pipe cut to length. We have a PEX half inch to half inch coupling. It just slides into the pipe. And then you can electrical tape it. And I know what you're thinking now, is that really going to seal it? So is it really going to be an airtight seal? Well, I don't take anything by chance. So I tested it in a five and a half foot deep pool. I weighted down the hoop and left it for over 12 hours and it did not leak a bit. So the coupling without the crimps will definitely provide a good seal. So that's how we make the ring. And then the pipes are simply just a half inch PVC pipe 12 inches long, just as is specified in the build guide, but it has two holes, uh, two quarter inch holes. One's a quarter inch from the end of the pipe, and then the next one is one inch, so it's one inch spacing between the pipes. And then I have just cable tied those onto the two rings, and I cable tied the two rings together. And I'll show you in a little bit how this works in the pool versus how the original worked in the pool. I'm using 5 8 inch diameter uh, backer foam, which is just round foam. I have a six inch piece and I am inserting that into each of the support pipes for the hoop assembly. That will offset the weight or, of the pipe. So it gives me a really good control on my buoyancy and it gives me just the, just the right of buoyancy that I need. So one piece of backer foam in each of the of the PVC pipes. I did not re restrain this anyway because it fits pretty snugly in there. And since the all the force will be pushing up on the flotation anyway, it's not going to drop out of it. Here's the garbage patch ring assembly mounted to the platform. This is the platform that I'll be using at the International Challenge. So this is a one inch PVC piping. If you built the 2019 regional course and you're reusing that course and you would have the half inch PVC piping and on page 17 of the build guide details the instructions necessary for the riser pipes because they are different. This is one, one inch riser pipes where you would be using one and a half inch, I'm sorry, half inch pipe. So this is the new ring assembly and the water level is right between the rings. That's what I want to keep the, the floating trash in, uh, inside the hoop. And you can see that this is why I designed this this way, that 
even if my water level is a little bit different from lane to lane, it's not going to affect the height of the ring. It is free floating. This is a five and a half foot deep pool. So even if it was a five foot pool, it would work fine. A little deeper would work. But keep in mind that you will have to change or, or change the length of your riser pipe depending on your pool length. So this would work in a three foot deep pool, four foot pool, six foot, whatever you're using. You also don't even have to use the platform. So um, some regional coordinators have tied off the garbage patch ring to the pool lane dividers. That's fine, that would work. I like this because it's not going, you're not gonna be able to push it very far with the ROV. So it's not going very far with force on it. And, uh, plus, I don't want my divers, I'm deploying 16 of these, and I don't want the, the divers, I'm trying to minimize their setup time. So this is the original ring. You can see it floats with the, the lower ring is floating on the surface of the water. That will retain the trash. It's going to be a little harder to, if they're, the students are trying to push the bottles or something out of the ring, it'll be a little harder with the top ring but this will definitely work. And keep in mind what I was mentioning when I was building the new ring assembly, I'm just trying to speed up my assembly time here. And I like being able to easily adjust the buoyancy so I've got it pretty well. I don't have to cut or trim the pool noodles. I'm not even using the pool noodles.